Hey, welcome to episode two of Girly IRL. This season is all about X Talk. I'm inviting loads of different friends into my bedroom to sit on my bed and chat shit about their big breakups and heartbreaks. Today's guest is my friend Ella Grace, an amazing musician. Hello Ella. Hello. Welcome to Girly IRL X Talk. Describe who you are and what you do in five words. Five words? And it's hard. Okay. I'm Ella Grace. I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. I hope to inspire people. Sick, we can make that one word. Hope to inspire people. Not, yeah, I'm not it's like it's German words. <laughs> Into that authenticity. Sick. More than five words. Can I go more? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have, so you have a fifth word or phrase. I can turn this into a f five phrases. Okay, okay, yeah. And I have an amazing community of human beings online. Your love. Hell yes. Yeah. My EP that's coming out soon is called X Talk and it's all about breakups and friendships ending. What was your worst breakup? Dude, I actually think my worst breakup was like in lockdown. Ooh, because savage lockdown breakup. Yeah, okay. it was actually my first breakup with a woman. Mm -hmm. So I have this, I mean, you know about this, but I had this like wild experience. I'd always been with men and then suddenly I was with a woman and I was like, oh fuck, I think I've been lying to myself for 24 years. Mm -hmm. And um, an awakening. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a real awakening. And so that first relationship uh, with a woman, which was kind of on and off, but that breakdown uh, during lockdown because she was overseas, was definitely my hardest breakup because it was also like it was kind of an ending to something that was never really something properly but that was so Damn. much love there i love mm -hmm. yous and it was like all very real it was um, never like official as such but it went or... wrong whilst we were overseas and unable to be together mm. so it was just like this anxiety almost of not being able to like yeah not being able to even like be or... angry or like sad or like cool or like there was so much ability for her to distance herself from me so it was just like what do I do with all these feelings? Yeah, you know? where do I put these feelings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a, a big reason I wanted you to come on the show and talk about this stuff is because your latest song, Pieces, yeah. I feel like it's not necessarily about a breakup, but about the aftermath and you kind of like putting yourself back together totally. in that way. Totally. Um, tell us more about that song. Like, Well, what? Pieces is all about that. It's like, uh, it's all about finding pieces of myself in someone. So being like, mm. being with this person in bed for the first time and being like, oh my gosh, like a whole part of myself has just re-entered me. And mm. I'm like, wow. So it's all about finding the pieces of myself through that person and then with them leaving and letting go of them, finding like even more wholeness in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think, because it sounds like it was a really intense relationship, but also intense breakup. Mm -hmm. Do you think that sometimes breakups can be more character building than relationships you know yes or is it because i guess they're, they're so linked because it's like a breakup from the relationship so it's obviously you had to have the relationship first to have the breakup but, but no i think so like I, honestly i feel so much more whole mm. since that breakup and like yeah. the strength that happens and that melt you learn and i mm. feel like i don't know breakups it's like i dodged a bullet but, yeah. I, but I never thought that when I was going through the breakup. And now I'm on the other side, like really on the other side. I'm like, it's not that she was a bullet I dodged, it's just it wasn't the right thing. Yeah. And I couldn't see yeah. that because I was blinded by the romance of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So there's a line in pieces. Yeah. I think it's the first line. In my hands, these pieces of my heart make me a man. Is that about the fact that it was kind of a, your first queer relationship too? Yeah. Yes. Like, I just love that line. Like, it's so sick. Thanks. Yeah, it was, I think my only like viewpoint on being with a woman was a man being with a woman because mm. i've never gone through the queer experience and so that was like my i was like whoa these pieces of my heart that i've just found like this would make me a man and being with a woman for the first time like i was super femme and super like performatively femme because mm. i'd grown up in this world that was like that's where your worth is that's where your sense of self-worth is yeah. like who you are and when i was with her like the months after i just wore guys clothes and i had this like embodied experience of being very masculine and I was like this is who I am like this there's this whole part of myself that I've just rejected mm. um and that's what that's about yeah I think it's really interesting because I find the same like I've had a lot of romances with 
with women and gender non-conforming people, but I've never ha been in an actual relationship with them. The only relationships I've had are with men. And it's interesting how when I go on dates with girls or, you know, find myself in queer dating settings or whatever, I kind of find myself like, oh, who, who am I? Like, am I a mask? Am I a femme? Am I this? Am I that? And you realise there's so much you've just been raised to believe. And I'm the same. I'm like performatively femme, but then I'm like, do I want to be this femme? And some days I really do, just genuinely for myself. And then other days I really don't. And some days I want to be like baggy, but then I'm like, oh, but if I go on a date with a guy, should I dress more femme? And if right. I go on a date with a girl, should I dress more like mask? But then I don't, you know, it's like, blah, 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 like so many, who am I? I know. And, this... and I feel like those boxes can kind of like make this whole like maze of like hell in like finding yourself. Or, like you are like, okay, I think I'm gay or I'm queer. And then it's like, okay, am I a fan? Am I a top? Am I like, yeah. these things? And it's like, top, my like all these like, like, like online kind of perceptions of like what it is. So again, it's like, for me anyway, I feel like that androgyny of like that masculine and feminine. It's like, I'm learning to accept both. And it took right. me ages because I was like, today, like, am I going crazy? Because today, like, I really feel super masculine. And the next day I was wearing dresses and I thought I was like, who's faking it like, yeah yeah yeah. but then you you have to be like oh no one's faking it it's, it's all like, me all me yeah what's the worst reason someone's given you and this can be like really silly okay. maybe it was like a teenage breakup thing what's the worst reason someone's given you for breaking things off i mean i can tell you i can tell you mine yeah i want to know yours first. someone texted me um to break off we were just kind of dating it wasn't serious but uh they texted me i think uh, we have to stop seeing each other because um, the moon is doing things to me and um, I just feel like I'm really introverting and I think I'm gonna start like writing again and I just feel like what like we need to the distance <laughs> so it's yeah. just like you've just explained nothing, nothing and a lot of words and everything like yeah it was like you yeah <laughs> the moon's really the doing moon, something to, I need to start I'm like introverting I okay, mean sure the I this was was a Pisces like that is the most they like, were a Taurus really yeah I know I would say this Pisces is very like too. floaty energy like yeah. I just think I need to like start writing poetry and the moon and like, yeah 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 out. but they were very like I mean I I'm spiritual but this was like dickhead spiritual well, i mean yeah. this is like i'm gonna break up with you using the moon yeah. as my ally. using the moons for me anyway i'm always the person who gets dumped so i'm the opposite are you the dumper mm. okay but this was so this is my first so with a woman that was mm -hmm. my first experience of someone like parting me off wow because okay. with men i was always in the driver's seat which is interesting which i also that think is, is like a whole thing as a woman in this society trying to feel in control mm. and so like t dating men and having them wrapped around my finger and I love them very much but like I was always one fit and one for out somehow because, yeah yeah it was kind but of it was like, like a, a sense of control yeah, yeah. Level, mm -hmm. you realize dude I don't actually think I think I'm so intense and deep that I've always it's, it's always it's like always a been really like, intense reason. Yeah, yeah I honestly think mm -hmm. maybe when I was younger on MSN like I remember this is we a story it. it's kind of similar but basically I was going out with this guy and we would like met once at a party and like kind of like looked at each other and then on MSN <laughs> he was like do you want to be my girlfriend and we'd like go on camera with our sunglasses on and like speak to each other MSN romance yeah it was real and I got my friend we were like 13 and I got my friend to call him and break up with him over the phone as me but he had no idea what my voice was sounded like so he just took it oh my god I was like I don't want to do it I'm too nervous <laughs> so my friend did it and he um, oh and my he, yeah, god that's bank. iconic I know that's wicked I love that. My best friend wanted to make this guy jealous and I was like, I got it. I'll give you a hickey and then you can post oh on my your gosh. Yes. Instagram or whatever like, oh my god. True friendship. And so I was just there like giving her a hickey and she was just there like, this is gonna be great. I'm so <laughs> like, into that. It was the least sexual hickey I've ever given. It was so dead. I was just like, but it worked. It really worked. Our queer relationships and also I guess then queer breakups. Yes. Different to heterosexual ones yes for me yes definitely. how so like for you because obviously yeah it's an individual thing obviously yeah. you can't um, blank it but i find being with women is a lot more like potential for immediate codependency or like there's like <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be real about it like i thought you're gonna be like potential for a real future like immediate codependency <laughs> 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 like shit uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm also into it, you know, I guess at some level. So for me, anyway, in my experience, like even seeing girls for a little bit and like what I've loved about it is that um, I find there's a lot more communication. Mm. Maybe that's just me, but like I with women, there's an ability in my experience with the women I've been with 
um, to communicate their emotional experiences mm. really nicely yeah. and like be really real about it. As someone who's lived as a woman for their whole life, when I see something going on with someone I'm getting together with, I can almost sense what's going on, whereas like yeah, with yeah. men it can be a bit more confusing. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, yeah, very, very different. More emotional, more communicative, more depth. But I don't know if that's because I'm also willing to go there with women. What about you? I think yes, but also I, I haven't had a relationship or a serious breakup with a woman. I've definitely had some some fuck girl experiences. Okay. Like, there was this oh, girl really? I really liked and could have come to maybe having yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oof, it's really like... Fucked me around. I was like, damn, this is like Do you worse think it than cuts a fuck boy. It cut deeper. Yeah, because I think with it women cut it all deeper. cuts. It cuts for me anyway, and for you as Actually, well. Actually, that's like... so interesting. That's the first time I've realised. But yes, it cut deeper. Maybe because when you're raised as a woman, you're taught to have this kind of barrier up against men. Like mm. men are dangerous. Men are this. Men are that. Men will break your heart. You know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's this. You kind of build this thick skin sometimes, and you're like, you learn to kind of yeah have them wrapped kind of little finger and like play around with it. Whereas yeah. with women, I was just so vulnerable. Vulnerable, and it was like. Oh my god, like, yeah, shit. Like <laughs> this the, is so the first time I was ever slept with a woman, I honestly was like, because with men, I was always like super comfortable and like that was my space, like super happy with women. I felt like I was like seven years old. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? You're like, oh. Yeah, and I think a lot of <laughs> like a women again, have that experience. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. what the hell? Like, I was so embodied in my sexuality and like how I was with people. And then with women, I was like, holding them so gently like what do I <laughs> it's like you're a baby like, like, I, I remember the girl being like this. you can lie on me like harder I was like but you're fragile <laughs> like, I was like <laughs> I don't know but 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 you're so pretty yeah, yeah. you're so gorgeous yeah. <laughs> I want to be careful but I think I say it's like yeah. trying to treat them how you want to be treated if you're a woman and you've been with men they can often be like chucked around a bit in your heart yeah hurt. and like I think that's yeah. why I also try and communicate even more with women because I'm like I don't want to see women hurting another thing I want to talk about on the show is toxic situations have you ever had situations of like gaslighting or like toxicity in relationships where now you're like okay i have a lot more wisdom about this and i can like yeah. protect myself in the future now from stuff like this yeah i've been in a lot of gaslighty situations i'm mm. often on like the other end of manipulation so i'm like mm. being manipulated and pedestaling someone so mm. putting someone in a position yeah. of power yeah i was like once with a guy and he would I was like, this, I know I don't want to be with you. That was like, for me, just like, it wasn't the right person. But I would kind mm-hmm. of, he was really into me and my ego had just been like, wow, he's so into me. So I like kept, yeah. kept it going. And then that bit me in the ass because we ended up oh. together in a relationship. And I would like break up, be like, hey, I need to break up. And he'd be like, Ellie, you don't sound like yourself. I'm coming over. Like, you're not okay. Oh. And this went on for like a long time to the point where like I really actually like lost my mind and my ability to know what was my intuition. Yeah, because he basically gaslit me like away from my intuition. Shit, that's so that I wouldn't leave, you know. And I know that for him that came out of like a massive coping mechanism. But I'm just like it taught me like never to ignore my gut instinct. Yeah, like and and not to play with fire. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't fuck with fire. Like, I mean, I'm I don't tr- fuck with fire. I don't yeah. fuck with fire, man. I can see it. There's always temptation, but like, mm. that's why communication is so important for me because I think that there's so much opportunity to let your ego like slide into places and it can get so sticky and so painful. For me, this was a big lesson learning that just because someone is like really hot or kind of a bad boy or bad girl or whatever, if you feel when you're around someone like they're so much cooler than me, they're hotter than me, yeah, like then it's just don't go there. Yeah, don't bother. You're never gonna, like, you're always gonna leave this person, hang out with this person feeling kind of empty and lesser. No, and lesser. It really just like put me so far in touch with my instincts. Yeah. Because I ignored them so hard. When I was with him, I became like super anxious. Mm. I ended up on antidepressants. My period, like I'd never had period pains before and I literally felt like it was my womb being like wrong guy. Like I I started like throwing up and getting crazy period pains. And after we broke up my first period after I had no period pains. And this had been two years of like throwing up and I'd never had period pains. So I'm like the womb. Your body was telling you like this is the wrong It was nuts. I lost all my hair. So I actually like it was it was hardcore. But um but like your body knows, your body keeps the score and I have this with Mm. like friends as well or if I meet people and I can feel my body flare up or my anxiety flare up like often rather than like gaslighting myself and being like oh there's something wrong with me yeah yeah. i like i'm like okay 
why am I feeling like this every time I'm around this person? Why do I feel like a bit shaken or a bit nervous? And I think it's just good to be aware of who's actually healthy for you and who you might be pedestaling and giving power away to. When someone is right for you, you're not giving any power away. It's like an you're happy to like both share, be in power yeah. together. Even cool. in friendship, it's like just 100%. respecting each other and having that space where you're like, you're sick, you're sick. And there's no like taking and giving. When there's a breakup, there's also... A new start. What's kind of been your biggest moment where something had to end for something new to begin? I mean, every breakup has been that. Yeah. Like every single breakup I've had, as soon as it's ended, like that really bad one, and then the one with this girl, I found myself again. Yeah. You know, and these people that I'd given my power away to and felt like so out of control. And then as soon as I cut and was like, I'm done, like block creating my space mm -hmm. I found myself in like a way that was so much more whole I've been in relationship after relationship after relationship I'm like one of those people um, it just always happens and so I'm like it's not happening now and I got engaged to my music recently oh my god congratulations <laughs> Thank you very much. is this the ring this is the oh ring oh my god yay <laughs> when's the wedding <laughs> it's already happened it's already happened <laughs> pieces out now yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's um, so sick I love that I got myself a ring um a couple of weeks ago, actually, and I was like, this is my engagement ring to myself. Yes. It's the best. Yeah, dude. I mean, people are actually doing that. Didn't Emma Watson get in, like marry herself? Yeah, yeah, I think she did. I was once in Ibiza in this like tantra retreat and we all married ourselves. And that was like a mirror That's and a ceremony. So like cool. you say your vows to yourself <laughs> in the mirror. And it was like it was so cool. I've married myself twice actually, and then now music. Different people cope with breakups differently. Yeah. Some people get angry. Mm -hmm. Some people get wild i mean to be honest most people go through different stages yeah. i mean for me my biggest breakup last year was like it was one month it would be like this is the healing time and the next month it would be like maddest rebound phase of my life and then it would be like Rah! you seem like quite a calm healing person the lockdown breakup how was the main way you healed from that was it i definitely like, went through all kinds of emotions yeah like i was like okay i'm gonna really look after myself like mm -hmm. look after like these broken parts of me like go to bed early make myself a nice teas like yeah just be really good and then there was times where i was just like messaging guys like totally relapsing and just being like uh, and just and just messaging hot guys and just being like do you want to come over like covid no you can't come over fuck i really have to like sit with the shit. <laughs> yeah exactly there were times where i was just like super angry like i had a lot of anger anger is an emotion i find really hard to feel mm. but when i feel it i'm like the most liberated yeah. yeah and i think it's so good yeah. for music as well like moving forward this album doesn't have that anger in it but i have a sense of like this righteous anger mm -hmm. as a woman as a human being like is in me and i want to somehow unleash it and like throw it up into music at some point was music and writing kind of your main way of healing then in that way uh yeah dude like, like just like throwing all because this yeah right? this album that's coming out next year that all the singles are coming out of now um it all happened in lockdown. I was giving Classic. birth, you know, like at yeah, the same yeah. time as feeling like, oh my gosh, this person doesn't love me and I'm so sh shit. And like having low self-esteem, this album kind of like, you, I birthed myself again through it. Friendship breakups. Yeah. I think for me, friendship breakups have been more savage yeah. than romantic breakups almost. Have you had any bad friendship breakups and like, how did they affect you like differently? I've had bad friendship breakups and this year as well I've had a couple, no, one really bad friendship break. I think for me, it's the sadness of like, I mean, they all happen for different reasons, right? Yeah. So like, I've had ones where you just like outgrow. And yeah. And like, you'll know, and you keep trying. Which are less like, painful, I guess, because it's yeah. just like a slow, it's sad, but it's like. I think it's more painful for me because I've had situations where like, somebody's wanted to continue to be friends and I can feel that like, uh, there's this space where I'm like, this doesn't fit me anymore. And then it's yeah. the hardness of like, either just being a bit flaky and like slowly letting someone down. Like, how do you just straight up say, I don't like, want to be friends with you anymore. Yeah, yeah well, like, I just yeah. don't feel like this fits. And then another one was just like a situation where a friend I felt like totally just betrayed my trust. And that was the hardest to deal with watching someone put themselves or like something in their lives before the friendship. And I find like when trust is broken, it it's so hard for someone so close to you to get it back. I, st I think I still mourn that in some way, but I really do believe everything happens for a reason in a really cheesy kind of way, but I really do. <laughs> yeah. So I think I just lie on that and so many cool people have come into my life this year that I'm like... Yeah, fully. Yeah. Friendships end, friendships begin. They do, like it exactly. just makes space for new stuff to come in. The next round is the quick fire round. What's worse, a friendship breakup or a romantic breakup? Friendship breakup. Hmm. To block or not? Yeah, to block. Face to face 
or need space if you heal better by them being around or like need space uh need space mm -hmm. sex with your ex yay or nay nay <laughs> you were like oh. i'm like i'm like it could happen but, but nay but it shouldn't but i hope i don't do it but it could happen top three tips for heartbroken people focus on friendships doing things that you love doing just for you cry like be heartbroken and maybe make some art the next section basically we write like a 20 second song about what we've been talking about today i'm into it i don't fuck with fire to be added to the wall of fame. Oh, I'm so keen. Yeah, so ah! cute. I have a blue pen for Where do you I to sign. sign? Where do I sign? Sign at the bottom. Just sign my... Yeah. Yay! Thank you so much, Ella Grace, for being on the show. Stoked. Thanks for watching Girly IRL X Tour. Make sure to tune in next month for the next episode where we'll have a new special guest come into the bedroom. Thanks for watching Girly IRL. Subscribe to the audio podcast so you never miss a podcast again. It's Girly IRL.